did Australian ministers related to finance and economy, Scott Morrison and Stephen Chobo, made you richer or poorer in 2018? Before we begin, subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss new videos where I will analyze how your other politicians perform. In this video, we will analyze only the single most important metric to determine how successful ministers were in particular year. No BS fancy talk, just perfectly real and honest statistic where you can't hide anything. Here's the deal. Most important metric for economy is GDP per capita based on PPP. It's gross domestic product converted to international dollars using purchasing power parity rates and divided by total population. Here is the nice definition. Basically, it's number that tells you how much stuff can every citizen buy with wage he gets every month. In countries with higher numbers, citizens live great and buy a bunch of new things every month. In countries with low numbers, citizens live bad and scrape every month to buy food and pay living expenses just to survive. If you're from Australia, comment below how much could you afford in 2018 and were you satisfied with that? Can't wait to see how satisfied with your purchasing power you were. Now, our data source will be IMF's GDP per capita based on PPP rankings report. IMF stands for International Monetary Fund. We will analyze two main factors. Position in 2018 GDP per capita based on PPP rankings and change in rankings. If country is positioned high in rankings, like those countries here, and improved a lot, then economy related ministers are doing phenomenal job, which is the best it can get. If country is positioned high and didn't drop rankings, then economy related ministers are doing excellent, great or good job. If country is positioned low, like those countries here, and it didn't drop rankings, then economy related ministers are doing fair or mediocre job. Now, if country is positioned high and dropped the rankings, then economy related ministers are doing poor, bad or awful job. And last, if country is positioned low and it dropped rankings, then economy related ministers are doing abysmal job, which is the worst it can get. Is that clear? And now are you ready? Australia ministers related to economy Scott Morrison and Stephen Kyobo in 2018 performed drumroll, wait for it, poor. Their score was minus 120 and they were ranked 140th among all economy related ministers. Australia was ranked 19th in 2017, which is very high, and in 2018 they dropped one place to 20th place. So as you can see, it's poor job, your ministers are making you poorer. And while we are here, I just want to apologize if Scott Morrison and Stephen Kyobo were not ministers in 2018, because sometimes it's hard to find data from the past. This is just in case, because I tried my best and I think the names are right. If you now want to see how leader of Australia, Malcolm Turnbull did perform in 2018, click the link in the top right corner. And that's not all, let's see few ministers related to economy that performed the best, so you can see how phenomenal performance looks like. Here is the top of the rankings. Rank number, number one were ministers from Taiwan, Su Jane Rong and Shen Zhong Chin. They did phenomenal job and Taiwan recorded jump of three places in the ranking. Rank number two were ministers from Spain, Maria Jesus Montero and Nadia Calvino. Phenomenal job. Spain also jumped three places in the rankings. Rank number three were ministers from China, Liu Kun and Zhong Shan. And although China ranks a little bit lower than Taiwan and Spain, in 2018 they leaped four places from 81st to 77th. Now, before you go and watch next video, remember to subscribe and click bell icon 
so you don't miss new 2019 rankings. I will analyze 2019 performance as soon as new IMF ratings become available. Bye!